U.S. President Donald Trump has ordered the full and abrupt withdrawal of 2,000 American troops from Syria, declaring victory over Daesh, overriding his top national security aides and stunning allies. The chaotic nature of the move has raised questions about how Trump will follow through with the full withdrawal, with the Pentagon and State Department struck. State, State Department struggling to persuade the president to reverse the, the decision. This as United States troops start returning to their homes and pockets of Daesh fighters remain hidden in Syria. We've been fighting for a long time in Syria. I've been president for almost two years and we've really stepped it up and we have won against ISIS. We've beaten them and we've beaten them badly. We've taken back the land. And now it's time for our troops to come back home. Trump has long told advisors that he wanted to withdraw troops from the country, determined to fulfill a campaign promise of limiting U.S. involvement militarily abroad. However, his claim on Wednesday is at odds with his own administration's assessments. In August this year, the Pentagon assessed there were still as many as 14,500 Daesh fighters still in Syria. Now, the Pentagon, announcing shortly on Wednesday that it is transitioning to the next phase of the campaign, said it would not provide further details for force protection and operational security reasons. A storm of protests are coming from inside Congress, with many suggesting that Trump had acted out of personal interest. Trump's strong supporter, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, called it a huge Obama-like mistake in a series of tweets, including a warning that withdrawing troops puts U.S. allies, the Kurds, at risk. In Syria, Kurdish forces who have been a massive role in fighting Daesh feel abandoned, just as Turkey is vowing to step up attacks against the Kurds. The decision had also blindsided U.S. ground commanders as they had wanted to maintain a U.S. presence to ensure Daesh did not rebuild. There are also fears that the withdrawal will seed influence in Syria and the wider region to Russia and Iran. Interestingly, the Russian foreign ministry welcomed the move. So is Iran, saying that a withdrawal created prospects for a political settlement in Syria's civil war. Israel, on the other hand, said it will study the decision and ensure its own security. Meanwhile, the British government is stopping just short of condemning the decision, but said in recent days that Daesh remains a threat despite the important advances. In a more hopeful response, China says Syria's future should be independently decided by Syrians.